Have you ever noticed how some teachers just seem to keep their classrooms light and energetic? Many times, this is a result of a technique called positive framing. According to Doug Lamov, positive framing means narrating the world you want your students to see, even while you are relentlessly improving it, making corrections consistently and positively. Teachers who effectively utilize positive framing live in the now. They do their best to frame every situation in a positive light. Y'all are doing great. Y'all are doing exactly what you need to do. If you have questions, ask me. I do want you to do the multiplication to show, to check your work, to show that you're checking your work. That's why there's those two columns. But y'all are doing great. Keep it up and keep staying on task. Y'all are doing a great job. They build momentum as they narrate the events of their classrooms. Okay, you have the main idea, now let me see you use the words solubility or solutions in an answer. Frequently using positive presuppositions and assuming the best of their students. Alright, how many of you can tell me the definition of solution? Alright, I see three, six, nine, and one on this side. Left side, y'all know this definition. Look through your notes, work, work through it, you know how to do it. Each of these subtle strategies has a compounding effect in a classroom that encourages students to stay on task and do their best work. This is why positive framing is a vital part of building a campus-wide culture of excellence.